A viral video of a woman asking her reluctant husband to make her coffee has the internet pissed. <laughs> Trigger warning, this video contains footage of a man being really, really annoying. Will you make me a coffee? Are you crazy? For real, I'm really about to fall asleep. Okay. Is this like a, a back and forth thing? It's last a simple night, question. I just ask, will you make me coffee? I never ask you to make me coffee. You keep on getting attitude, you can do something with that, too. Now you act like it has to be an exchange. Did he really say, is this going to be a back and forth thing? That's the wrong way to ask for a blow, my guy. <laughs> it's not how it's done. All right, I'm weighing in on this unremarkable, mouth-breathing, mediocre fuckwit who can't be fucking bothered to make his goddamn wife a cup of coffee. Divorce this lazy scumbag. We renounce him from the male tribe. All this guy had to do was sigh, get up, go get a cup of coffee and come back. But he was more invested in having an argument about it with her what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so a video of a husband refusing to get his wife a cup of coffee is actually going viral on tiktok and online especially for the way that he responds to his wife asking him a simple thing a simple question like can you please get me a cup of coffee and then he responds by asking her are you crazy Welcome back guys, this is Joel Mugisha. If you're new, kindly consider subscribing, like the video, drop a comment, let me know what you think about today's episode. And also remember to hit the notification bell for more videos like this. So let's dive into the video and then I'm gonna come back and give my commentary. Will you make me a coffee? Are you crazy? For real, I'm really about to fall asleep. Okay. Is this like a a back and forth thing? Because last night. a simple night, question. I just ask, will you make me coffee? I never ask you to make me coffee. You keep on getting attitude. You can do something with that too. Now you act like it has to be an exchange. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's always one sided. <laughs> you walked your butt all the way down the hallway last night, and you turned around and got into the bed, and then handed me your cup. Yes and then you were not. home all night. <laughs> you were home all night. Why are you? Can keep, I finish? Why are you keep going on? Yeah, because it's real. <laughs> you were home all night last night, and then you get up this morning and ask me to do the dishes. <laughs> what? And I had all the kids last night. Oh, I freaking washed all those. Keep it up. You didn't wash all of them because there were some this morning, but somebody came out in the middle of the night. <laughs> Dude. My eyes are about to fall out. I'm tired. I'm very sleepy today. So I just thought it'd be nice if you made me a cup of coffee. Who's calling you? There's somebody would work. I mean, most of us still work. I am working right now. So am I. Mm, looks like you're scrolling. I can do that because I work. You know how to make it? We'll see. We'll see what the exchange, or we'll see. Do you what? know how to make my coffee? I want to know what the we'll see means. There's no exchange. It's a yes or no. You can say no. Oh, I know. Do you I, know know. How I hear it all is? the time. Hey, will you make? Oh, you don't coffee? have. We we know you know how to say no. We, we've got you that. You can say no. Understand. We know you know how to say no. So if that's the way you feel, you can say no. No, I just said. We know you know how to say no. I don't feel anyway. You're the one that's imposing your feelings on me. I don't know what you you're Because you haven't answered me. I don't need to answer you. <laughs> Will you make me a coffee? Are you crazy? I doubt many healthy people see my TikToks, but if you are healthy and in a relationship like this, please leave now when you have the energy to have financial stability to build a new support system because if you are in a relationship like this and you become disabled one day which can happen to anyone you like it can happen to you you can walk out tomorrow and be hit by a truck anyone can become disabled at any time you don't know when your next cancer diagnosis is looming ahead in the future please leave now when you have the energy to do so because this is the type of person that leaves when you get sick this is the type of people 
person that doctors warn you about when you get a cancer diagnosis. This is the kind of person who is not going to support you through disability, through sickness. Please leave now when you are able to rebuild your life. All right, I'm weighing in on this unremarkable, mouth-breathing, mediocre fuckwit who can't be fucking bothered to make his goddamn wife a cup of coffee. Divorce this lazy scumbag. We renounce him from the male tribe. He's not going to get any more of his white privilege, no more of his male privilege. He's been excommunicated. Divorce him. Let him struggle in the streets, this fucking good-for-nothing son of a bitch who can't be bothered to get up off of his ass for two fucking minutes and make your ass some fucking coffee. Coffee is the lifeblood of how we fucking operate. Fuck. You know, I got a big ass motherfucking bottle of creamer in my fridge, not because I need it, because the lady who comes over needs it. That's the only way she'll drink coffee. It takes two minutes to make coffee. Gentlemen, make a coffee or you no longer have your man card. All right? Hey, what's good, y'all? So here we are once again with another viral trend. It's the same thing as peeling the orange and all the other silly trends that a lot of ladies do that in turn, when you go to the comments, all you see are other women bashing their husbands. I'm a therapist and I will tell you, anytime you do something, to purposely place your partner in a position so that they can be attacked and dragged and made fun of and then you have to go back behind what you did and be like oh well he's really not like that it was just a skit it's problematic and I guarantee you'll be coming to see me pretty soon I'm not saying I'm just saying I need to stop doing these. They're, they're not cute. I'll let your boy. So this woman asks her husband, or I'm assuming that's her husband, to get her a cup of coffee. And he simply asks, is this going to start being like a back and forth thing? Like where, you know, I'm going to do things for you and then you'll do things for me. And then she goes, <laughs> you always act like it has to be an exchange. It does. It does. If I'm going out of my way to go make you coffee and make you food and I'm cleaning the fucking kitchen and I'm paying all the bills and I'm taking care of the children, what the fuck are you for? What are you for? You're not helping me make appointments. You're not helping me get my coffee. You're not helping make my food for lunch. He's the one working and paying all the bills. She's not. Yes, it's an exchange. I get you coffee, and I've gotten you coffee 20 fucking times, but I realize whenever I ask you, hey, honey, you know, you're not in the, you're not in the living room yet to, watch, to sit down with us yet. You're still in the kitchen. While you're in the kitchen, could you grab me a drink? And you say, no, or you don't get it for me, or you come in the room and you sit down and you go, oh, well, I forgot. I guess you should go get it now. I'm not going to get you coffee any fucking more, dude. I'm not, if I'm the one that's constantly every single morning, hey, good morning, how are you? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm starting to work, you know, I'm glad, I hope you're having a good day so far. And then I stop sending that message because I just want to make sure, hey, I want to make sure she actually, you know, will initiate the conversation too. I feel like I'm the only one initiating conversations. And then you fucking just skip one day. You don't send the good morning text. Does she send it back? No. Because she doesn't want to initiate. She doesn't actually fucking love you enough to initiate. She doesn't love you enough to reciprocate. So the funny thing to me is, is that all the comments in, the, in, that, in that video right there are just nonstop. He's such a piece of shit. Oh, he doesn't love her. He hates her. He's asking for reciprocation and she's laughing in his face saying, <laughs> you think it needs to be some form of exchange? Yes, it does. You need to reciprocate my energy that I'm putting into this fucking relationship. Otherwise, you don't get to be in this relationship. I feel fucking really bad for that guy because I'm sure he's fucking stuck in a, in a sexless, horrible fucking marriage because this woman doesn't understand her fucking side of things and what she needs to do to be a wife. You need to reciprocate energy. Reciprocation. If it's a one-sided relationship, there's no fucking point to the relationship. Will you make me a coffee? Are you crazy? 
so if you're one of the two million people that have seen this, there have been a lot of different reactions. I'm going to try to shed a different light on it, maybe, perhaps. So I sent it to my husband, and he's like, I'm not sure, like, if she knew he was going to react that way, like, why film him? You know, just question. And my thought process is this. Sometimes when we are in unhealthy relationships, that becomes our normal. And we think that the treatment that we're getting is normal. This is what everybody experiences. So I'm filming it because like, why doesn't he just say no? Here's the thing. It's not, that's not normal behavior. I'm not saying he should get up and wait on you like he's your, you know, indentured servant. But I'm just saying that whole exchange, if you go and watch it, that's not normal. That is not, to me, it looks toxic when you watch that whole video. I don't know them. I don't know their relationship. I don't know their dynamics. But it doesn't feel like he's joking. So... If you're one of those people who's in a relationship and, and you're starting to feel those little, I don't know if, if this is normal. Is this, is this what everybody's, ex ask, ask us, show us your videos, ask your coworker, ask your friend, your mom, somebody you trust, tell them, does this sound safe? Does this sound healthy? Not getting a cup of coffee, that's not abusive. Being talked to like that, day in and day out and the other things that went along with that conversation that's not healthy that those are red flags going straight up the flagpole yeah so anyway just my take on it will you make me a coffee are you crazy so as a man who has been happily married for about 10 years now it's very easy for me to tell when a man is unhappily married. And that guy right there is a prime example of a man dealing with a woman who is not his piece. This video came on my For You page and I saw a couple of reactions to it. So I decided just to check out a couple of her videos to see what's really going on with this right here. And it's clear that she does nothing but rage bait content where she continuously antagonizes her husband to literally get his reaction. And you can just tell by the way this man looks and reacts to this woman that she has been nothing but just pain and annoyance in his whole life. And seeing some of the women's reactions, oh, everybody just wants to feel special, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, it's just clear and clear that these clearly single women, because they're saying single like the best, blah, blah, blah. It, it, it's, it's safe here. No kids, no husband. You know what I'm saying? But it's clear that they don't understand what it means to be somebody's. A lot of men who are good men, decent men, ain't going to get to the point of throwing that they work and you don't do stuff at all in your face if it hasn't got to the point to where you start to become a problem. I'm blessed to have a woman who understands that I bless my butt for my family. I got like three, four jobs. I'm, I'm, I'm out here in these streets getting it for my family. And when I come home, the first thing I ain't trying to do is be asked to do something. I'm trying to just chill, decompress, whatever that looks like. And don't get me wrong, I do stuff for my woman. I cook, you know, I'll grill, I cook something in the kitchen. I'm actually the person who taught her how to cook. So no, I know how to throw down, I know how to do what I need to do. But at the end of the day, she understands that, look, my man tired. I'm not about to purposely get on his nerve. He already got to deal with annoying people in this world. Why would I be an annoying person in his safe space? And unfortunately, I think he got kids with her, so he's stuck. That's a miserable man right there. And he's going to probably ride it out to his kids grown. It is what it is. But all you folks who single should not have an opinion on marriage because you, you obviously don't know what, what it takes to have a relationship. You obviously not marriage material. So if you are happily single, happily keep your opinion to yourself because this is not your arena. You don't, you don't know anything about this. Let us happily marry people. You know, give our two cents on this. He ain't the only man I've seen like this. I, I, I've seen a lot of different unhappy men, unhappily married men on social media, in person, and all the women are the same. The same. 
But at the end of the day, these men gonna have to take responsibility. They chose these women. So I don't feel bad for them on that, bro. You see the red flags long before you get you get locked in. Now some of them good at hiding it, but a lot of times you ignore them red flags because you chose pleasure over pragmatism. So choose better fellas, but at the end of the day, ladies, ain't no excuse for this type of behavior, bro. She the problem. If you don't see it, you gonna continue to be happy and single. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day. Take care. Something with that too. This video is wild. I think that sometimes people post on the internet thinking, oh, I'm going to post this fun exchange, but really what they're posting is a glimpse into the normalization of dysfunction in their relationship. All this guy had to do was sigh, get up, go get a cup of coffee and come back. But he was more invested in having an argument about it with her. And if you go through this person's page while it's still open, you'll see that consistently these videos she posts are, this is the kind of vibe of the videos. Like he's, he has this contempt for her. And as a therapist, one of the things I know is that contempt is something that will destroy marriages and his videos or her videos of them interacting, the contempt he throws off towards her is frankly it's sad because she tolerates it and now it's normalized so let me know what you think about this video because it's wild to me that this person posted it all right guys there you have it actually a lot of people came out and uh, reacted to this especially some of them came out and made a, a lot of memes out of this and you know, a lot of women tried this trend and wanted to show how it was easy for them to go ask for a cup of coffee from their husbands and uh, they proved it to be a simple thing, you know. All this guy had to do is just to say no if he didn't want to, you know, go get, go make a coffee for his wife or he would have just woke up and uh, gone to the kitchen, made the coffee. It just takes five minutes, you know, but he was so invested in arguing with his wife that this video has been going viral, ballistic, especially on TikTok. As, as we speak, actually, it has over 10 million views on TikTok, actually because of this response that the the guy was trying to give his wife i mean how hard can it be to make a coffee for the person that you love even if i know that love is not always present especially when you've been married for years 20 10 you know 40 30 years of marriage sometimes is just commitment uh that keeps you together it's not just love some of the people are kept together by commitment and their love has expired but even though you only had to do one thing or the other you know he could have said no i'm busy or he could have actually woke up and gone and made the coffee just five minutes a lot of men actually you have seen came out and uh, called him out and even canceled him from you know the men club and uh, some you know white people canceled him from you know any white privilege i don't know what kind of white privileges they are canceling him from and a lot of people came out and told you know the woman to be very careful and also to hand him divorce papers but i don't think this is the type of thing that gets you divorced but it's a red flag it's something that you should be worried about because if you are in a relationship actually i think there might be something deeper that is not shown on social media maybe they had a quarrel maybe they are not in good terms maybe you know the woman is just trying to make a viral moment and it's a skit we don't know these days in social media actually but a lot of people are saying if this is not a skit then it's a red flag people ought actually to be careful of such type of men 
but what do you think guys do you think he went overboard especially with his reaction when he was actually arguing with the wife about that being an exchange between him and the wife you know an exchange of favor i make you coffee you do me some other kind of favor and he was even complaining that he was actually taking care of the kids last night so you know it was his time to lay down and rest and the wife to do everything but some people were coming and telling him rightfully so those are your kids also it's not only the wife's kids so if you're taking care of them if you're looking after the kids of the night it's your kids too man come on you don't have to make it something of a payment yeah man tell me in the comment section guys what do you think about today's episode was the man right in his response to the wife or what do you think if you're new consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos and also guys remember to hit that like button it helps with the algorithm thank you very much for watching this far as always guys see you on the next episode